Do you prefer a Class B RV with a mid bath or a rear bath? Stick around folks, we found two Thor sequences where we can show all the differences. Hey everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And if you've seen us before on YouTube, welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time seeing us on YouTube, welcome aboard. Susan and I make tons of videos all about RVing and we also have our website called rvblogger.com where we have hundreds of helpful articles all about RVing as well. We also have a monthly digital video magazine that's absolutely free called RV Camping Magazine. We invite you to join and subscribe and check it out. And finally, we have our private Facebook group called RV Camping for Newbies where you can meet other RVers, ask questions, get your questions answered, and just have a great time with other fellow RVers in our group. But without any further ado, let's check out our video all about mid bath versus rear bath Class B RVs. The Thor Sequence 20J model has an interior height of 6 feet 3 inches, a gross vehicle weight rating of 9,350 pounds, and it measures in at 21 feet 1 inches long. It sleeps two people unless you buy the optional Sky Bunk option, which will allow you to sleep up to four people. This Class B RV is the Thor Sequence 20J model. Very nice looking Class B RV. I like the fact that it's all black, nice and sleek. As you can see here, it sits on a Ram ProMaster chassis. It's got a really nice feel when you drive it. It's nice and tall. One reason that it's so tall is because it's got the Sky Bunk system in here, so it's actually got a pop top and you can sleep up to four people inside. We'll show you more about that once we go in. Also up top, you'll notice that it has an awning almost the whole length of the side of this Class B RV. As we move on down the side, you'll also notice there are a couple of 110 outlets on the side here for you, so you can plug things in at your campsite. And there's also a quick connect for your propane down below. Now around the rear of this Class B, it's got this really neat bike rack on the back here. I will say you can only close the doors in one order and you do have to watch your head when you walk around this thing because I've almost smacked my head on it twice now. But it's pretty nice to have a built-in bike rack on the back of your Class B RV. Now also back here you'll notice that there is a little connection here for this water sprayer. I don't really think this is an outside shower as much as it is a way to like clean off your bikes or clean off equipment and things like that. You could use it as an outdoor, outdoor shower if you wanted, but it's not really set up for that. And also one other thing about the back is I don't see a screen or even a way to hook a screen up in here. I would imagine the Thor has thought of that. There's probably a screen kit you could buy, but we sure don't see it here today. Uh, as we wrap on around to the driver's side of the RV, that's where you'll find your propane fill up your water fill up. You'll also find a hose for your gray tank. And this actually has a cassette toilet. So there's also a place on the side of the RV where you can pull the cassette out so you can dump that when you're ready. So when you first walk into this coach through the side door, one of the first things I noticed is that it does have a screen on the side door. So at least you can open up the side, get some fresh air that way. Once we walk inside, the front of this motorhome has two very nice captain's chairs that are pretty spacious. There's a lot of room up front in the driver's cab area. Both the driver's seat and the passenger seat do swivel around and face towards the back of the RV, so that's kind of nice. The next thing you'll notice is that there is a bench seat here which can fit two people. It's actually got two seat belts, and this RV is really meant to sleep four, so your passengers can sit here and be safe. It also has a swivel arm with a table on it, so you can use this as a dinette table or a workstation or however you would like to use it. Now, right above me here is where the pop top moves up. We don't have this RV plugged in uh, at the dealership that we're at, so I can't pop it up and show it to you, but we got a picture on screen so you can see what it looks like when it is popped up. Now, headspace in here and in all Class Bs is super important in my opinion. Now, as you guys know, I'm 5'11", and uh, there is, boy, six feet and three inches in here. So, you know, enough headroom for a guy that's my size pretty easily. 
and up to 6.3. If you're taller than that, you're certainly gonna have to crouch, but you're probably used to that by now anyway. Now, as we roll on back towards the back of the RV in here, you'll notice there's some storage over top of the bench seating that's in here. These doors are very nice, very high quality. Everything is fit to finish in here and it just feels really, really nice. Even the headroom in here has a soft ceiling. So it's just got that very luxurious feel like you might find in, a, in an upscale Class A RV. Um, the Class Bs are always built with super high quality as well. So you'll find those finer features in here too. As we take a look at the kitchen area, up top here we have a cabinet for some storage space there right next to that is a microwave oven it's a little bit on the small side you really can't get more than a plate size dish in there it's not a convection oven either which is a little surprising down below that you've got your range hood you've got a two burner propane stove in here you have your tower of power to plug in and charge things and then it's got a little cover over top of a single bowl sink. Of course, this swivels around and so it's very usable and easy to use. Down below that, you know, you have your standard drawers. Some of them are deeper than others. And then as we move back here, we have our refrigerator, um, which is a nice stainless steel on the outside. Inside, you'll notice that you have plenty of storage space and the freezer compartment is within the refrigerator but one really nice feature is that when you raise the door it stays in that position so you can grab ice or things from the freezer without having to hold the door open at the same time now this class b rv is what we would consider a mid bath coach and what i mean by that is that the bathroom is located in the middle now a couple things to know about mid bath rvs and that is that normally Instead of having a big wide open feel, I think it feels kind of narrow in here. And you'll see that when we shoot the next Class B, which is the same model, but it's gonna have the rear bath. And you'll see how it opens up the coach inside. But this makes it feel a little bit narrow. And then your bed ends up in the back. But a big advantage to a mid bath coach is you have more storage in the back, especially if you have maybe the type of Class B that has the bed that goes up and down. Uh, those typically have mid baths in them as well. So you have lots of storage in the back of your class B coach. So here I am in the very back of this RV and this is a nice couch back here, plus another chair on the right hand side. There's a TV here. And when you're sleeping in here, your feet would be that way. So you can pull the TV out and it'll swivel around and you can lay in bed and watch TV very very comfortably back here it's also got a dinette table so you can eat back here use it as a workstation whatever you would like to do now the size of the bed i'm not going to put the whole bed out but it's really pretty big because it would be about 70 inches wide and then the length on this is about just about 74 75 inches so um, you know, you could comfortably sleep in here, but it'll be tight if you want to stretch out a little bit. You'll also notice up top that we've got additional storage on both sides overhead. There's also a wardrobe cabinet located back here so you can hang things up, or they have an option where you can put shelving in there and have that as additional shelving instead of a wardrobe cabinet. And then above me here, you've got your AC unit. So while you're sleeping back here, you'll stay nice and comfortable. So here I am inside the bathroom like I usually am, and I am literally hitting my head on the ceiling just standing here. So if you're in here taking a shower, it's going to feel a little bit cramped, but hey, it's a quick shower. You're in, you're out. The toilet space in here, you know, it's adequate. Usually I'm worried about testing my elbows. There's no elbow room in here, but my knees are of a bigger concern <laughs> this time around. I don't think I can get this door shut with my knees inside the bathroom. So uh susan you're gonna have to leave <laughs> i have to take a walk when nature calls also in the bathroom you'll notice up top here that it's got a medicine cabinet with plenty of storage inside and then it's got the sink that pulls out and open and of course you can swivel your faucet over to it so it's kind of like an airplane type setup and then you've got your toilet with your handles for your shower located below introducing today's sponsor rv snap pad RV Snap Pad is the world's only permanent jack pad. They're made for fifth wheels, motorhomes, travel trailers, truck campers, and much more. 
Snap pads were made to snap onto your levelers or stabilizer system and stay there for good. With snap pads installed, your RV will benefit from increased stability and protection for each landing foot, less sinking in soft surfaces, and you won't need to get under your rig to place and retrieve jack pads. We're partnered with SnapPad to offer our viewers a special discount on a set of SnapPads. Just click the link in the description below or go to rvsnappad.com, enter in your RV info, and get an instant recommendation for the right size SnapPads for your rig. Then use our discount code RVBlogger10 during checkout to get 10% off. Snap pads are made in the USA and they offer additional discounts for veterans or first responders. Visit rvsnappad.com today for more info. The Thor Sequence 20K model has an interior height of 6 feet 3 inches, a gross vehicle weight rating of 9,350 pounds, and it measures in at 21 feet 1 inch long. It can sleep two people, but if you buy the optional sky bunk option, it can sleep up to four. This Class B RV is the Thor Sequence model number 20K. And it's a little different than the 20J that we just looked at, but it's also very similar in some ways. Now outside, the size and shape of the coach is pretty much identical, but there are a few little changes. First of all, it doesn't have the pop top with the extra sleeping capacity up there, but it does have the awning that goes almost the length of the entire Class B coach. Also outside you'll notice that it also has the bike rack so that's very very convenient and on the other side of the coach a big change is it doesn't have a cassette toilet it's actually got a black tank and a separate gray tank so that's more like a traditional motorhome where you would hook up your sewer hose and dump that way. So those are the biggest changes on the outside. Let's hop on inside and take a look in there. So the first thing you'll notice when you hop inside is that it does have a screen door right here so you can leave your door open and get some nice airflow. But come on inside, let's check out the interior. Now, since this is a rear bath coach, in my opinion, the biggest difference is just that the living area seems so much bigger and wider and more spacious. So instead of having a mid bath that juts out into the center of the RV and creates a really narrow passageway to the back, I feel like it's really nice and open all the way almost to the back of the RV. And then you've got your shower and toilet all the way in the rear. We'll start at the front though and just sort of tour our way through so you can check the whole thing out. So here I am back at the front of the RV. The driver's cab here is just like the 20J model, very nice and big and spacious. It's, it's on the Ram Pro Master chassis, so it's the same exact RV. Uh, very spacious up front. You've got all your nooks and crannies for storage in here as well. And then we get to the living area, and this is a really, really big difference. You'll notice that the sofa here has a lot of cushions on it, but it's very nice and comfy. TV's loaded, located directly across, so it kind of gives you a, you know, a nicer feel in terms of having uh, more living space in here. Uh, right next to me here, is a little table that can swing out on an arm so you've got a dinette table or a workstation here uh, very nice setup and then directly across from me here they actually put this little table in in this contraption which folds out and so you can turn your front seat around both of them and someone can sit here and use this table someone else could sit here and use the other table behind the driver's seat or you can also turn the driver's seat around and use this table with the driver's seat too. So you have a lot of options for table room inside this RV. Uh, you'll also notice directly above the door you have some control panel action going on here. You've got your Max Air fan and then you've got lots and lots of storage space up above the couch area. So I just converted the couch into the bed, and this is more of like a gaucho bed kind of setup. And for those of you that don't know what a gaucho bed is, you can check out our article on our website called, What Are Gaucho Beds? But basically, it's where the bottom of the bed sort of slides out, and then you just create with you know your cushions the rest of the bed. It's a really neat neat way of doing it now the bed size in here you would sleep you know this direction 
in this RV. And the size of it is uh, about 60 inches across. And then we have 76 inches long. So it's a short queen size bed that you end up with in your living area here or sleeping area. For those of you that travel with cats or dogs, you'll be happy to know there's this neat little drawer with a dog bowl for, or cat bowl for food and water. So right across from your couch and bed area, you've got your little entertainment center, if you will. You've got a nice TV here that's on a swivel so you can move it all around. You have nice countertop space underneath of it. Just above your TV, you've got some additional storage space. You've got cable, receptacles, USB, and even an HDMI. Uh, HDMI port so if you wanted to put like a DVD or something up here you could although most people are streaming these days down below you've also got additional storage for DVDs or whatever you would like to keep in there and even another spot below that so just past the entertainment center area here we are in the kitchen now in the kitchen area you'll notice up top you've got lots of storage space behind these really nice cabinet doors below that We've got a two burner stove, little tower of power over here in the corner so you can plug in appliances, charge your phone, whatever you need. Then you've got a very small single bowl sink in here with a gooseneck faucet. And then just on the outside of the countertop area, there's another receptacle here so you can plug in a kitchen appliance or whatever you'd like to. And then you've got some shallow depth drawers here, but there's a whole bank of them. So you have plenty of drawer space down below. And then finally, we have our convection microwave oven. So right across from the kitchen is where the refrigerator is located. And it's a good size refrigerator in here. Uh, as you can see, a couple of shelves and a couple of That's pretty big for bins. a class B. Yeah, pretty decent size. And then up top, you have a separate freezer. Then down below all that, you've got six really nice sized drawers down here. These are all good size. They pull out fully, so they're full extension drawers. So you can store a lot of things along here. And then I forgot to mention it when I was talking about the couch and the bed, but you have sort of a nightstand built right in with this countertop here, which also has a tower of power so you can charge any electronics as well. So here I am in the very back of this coach, which is where the bathroom is located. I'm sitting on the commode and uh, with the doors open, I have plenty of space here, but you're probably not going to be sitting in here with the doors wide open, I hope. Anyway, it's a decent sized bathroom. You'll notice uh, up above me here, I've got a little medicine cabinet. There's also a very nice shower head here. And then this actually has like barn style doors that close and they latch together with a magnet. Now, behind the commode and below the medicine cabinet, this is where your sink folds out and then your faucet spins right on around. So it's really a good size sink that you have in here. And then directly across from the sink and everything is where your wardrobe cabinet is located. Uh, and then you've got a couple of nice sized drawers down below that as well. So here I am sitting on the back bumper just outside the bathroom, but I wanted to show you a couple of other features that they have. First of all, you'll notice that they have a sprayer hose here, which connects right in with a quick connect type system. So you can spray off things before you stow them away. Now the sprayer hose fits into this plastic tray. So if it drips any water anywhere, it stays contained in here and doesn't roll around the rest of your class B RV. You also have your water pump switch, your light switch, a 12 volt receptacle and a 110. So if you're doing anything outside around the back of your RV, you can plug in any appliances or anything you would need back here also. Also comes with a Tully ladder. So if you need to get up on the roof for anything, it's in a great spot and stowed away for you. So which do you prefer? A class B RV with a mid bath or a rear bath? Let us know in the comments down below. We would love to hear from you about which you prefer and why. And not only can we learn from you, but others that watch us on the YouTube channel can read your comments and learn too. There's only three things left to do right now though. Number one, give us a thumbs up, please. Number two, please subscribe to the RV Blogger YouTube channel. We'd love to have you join the RV Blogger bunch and see our videos every single week. And finally, if you'd like to learn more about Class B RVs, just click this box down below and Susan and I will see you in the next video 
all about Class B RVs. So for Mike and Susan, thanks for watching. Leave your campsite cleaner than how you found it, and we'll see you next time.